All right, so next up we're going to discuss solids and liquids. So just remember from our previous talks, um, we said that solids on the molecular level look like they're uh, molecules vibrating uh, in place. So they don't really move around too much, um, whereas liquids, they can move, but they're still in constant contact with one another. So we say that molecules roll around one another. So again, kind of solids stay in place. Liquids, they're free to move around, but they're always kind of in contact with one another. And that's quite different from gas particles, where gas particles, um, the molecules themselves are quite far from one another. And while every now and then they do come in collision with one another, most of the time um, they're by themselves. So the main difference between um, solids and liquids and gases is that in solids and liquids, uh, our particles stay together. And since they stay together, there has to be some kind of attractive force to keep them together. Otherwise, they would just go their own way. Right, and we see this every day, right? If you put an ice cube uh, on a counter, it's gonna stay as an ice cube, it's gonna stay together. If you put a drop of water, that drop of water is gonna stay with itself. Um, if you you know, steam that water and, and make it into steam, that steam's gonna go everywhere and it's not going to stay together. So um, these uh, attractive forces are keeping solids and liquids together. And that's what the bulk of our discussion is going to be on.